President Obama invited 28-year-old Ryan Pitts of Nashua, New Hampshire to the White House today so he could present the former Army Staff Sergeant with the nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Pitts defended a key observation post during one of the bloodiest battles of the Afghan war, and he told his story to David Martin. All right, here we are at the OP. American soldiers digging in for what would prove to be their last stand. Nine of these men were killed when the enemy attacked their makeshift base in the Afghan village of Wanat in July 2008. Nice shot. It was the most intense fight I'd ever been in. It seemed like fire was coming from everywhere. Sergeant Ryan Pitts was wounded in the opening fusillade. How badly are you bleeding? My biggest concern was a wound in my inner thigh on my right leg. Um, so then I crawled to the southern fighting position in, in Bogar. Put a, put a tourniquet on my leg. Jason Bogar, who was killed a short time later, kept Pitts from bleeding to death. But the situation, described by an Apache helicopter pilot, was desperate. I think they're pinned down good, bro. I don't think they want to lift their heads. As shown in this Army recreation, Pitts was manning an observation post above the main base at Wanat. The enemy was so close he had to let his grenades cook off before he threw them. So that the enemy couldn't pick it up and throw it back because it was so close I didn't want to give him a chance to pick it up. You'd activate the grenade and then count to three or four? Yeah. And then lob it. What happens if you get a short fuse? They would detonate in my hand. When Pitts ran low on grenades, he fought on with a machine gun. He's gonna die. Suddenly, there was an awful silence all around him. I thought everybody was dead. I thought I was the only one there. And you were. I was. You're all alone. You're wounded, and the enemy's how close? Close enough that they could hear him when I was talking on the radio. Four soldiers rushed to his aid, but they were all cut down. One of them, Israel Garcia, was mortally wounded. I just held his hand and we talked for a little bit. He wanted me to tell his mom and wife that he loved him. The Apaches laid down fire within 10 meters, about 30 feet of pits. 10 meters, so there's got to be kids and finally beat the enemy back. But you can see American dead lying on the ground. Nine guys died so the rest of us could come home. And valor was everywhere. Everybody was fighting as hard as they could. And I don't think anybody, you know, no man fought harder than any other. And the families of all nine were there today for Ryan Pitts. David Martin, CBS News, Washington.